In this short video, we will cover off on key software capability in the system identification analysis and design, CAD. Build a mathematical model of systems from any frequency domain measured data, analyze the system model, and finally design a PID controller. CAD has an intuitive graphical user interface so you can quickly build and analyze a system model and design a PID controller. The CAD user interface consists of different components. The main window, menu bar, toolbar, dataset panel, system models panel, design panel, identification window, and plots window. To start a project, First, import data and build a mathematical model. Click the Import Data button. Find and select the file. CAD software support different file format. Venable file format, CSV and text file format, and MATLAB file format. Once you select the file, click the Open button. The software will load the file and list it in the dataset panel. In the identification settings, select the data format of the selected dataset. Then select the correct column number of the input and output data and select the column number of the frequency data and the unit of the frequency. This sample's measured data format is in the input-output format. The input amplitude is column 2, the input phase is column 3, the output amplitude is column 4, and the output phase is column 5. The frequency is column 1, and the unit is in hertz. Now set the number of zeros and poles for the system. If you don't know the number of zeros and poles of the system, you can choose any values. Finally, click the estimate button. Once you click the button, the software starts estimating the model for the data. When the process completes, the software will plot the gain and phase of the dataset and the mathematical model in the validation graph and display the goodness of fit measure in the box below. If you are not satisfied with the result, change the number of zeros and poles until you get a satisfied result. Then click on the save model. The software will list the model in the system models panel and display a window. This window shows the model name, system mathematical model, and its characteristics. You can change the mathematical representation of the model from the transfer function to the state space model or gain zero pool model. To plot the step response of the model, select the model from the system models list and click on the step plot. A small window appears asking whether you want to set the time manually or automatically. For this demonstration, we will choose automatically by unchecking the manual setting. The step response will be displayed in the sub window inside the plots window. You can also plot the gain and phase of the model. Select the model and click the body plot. The body graph will appear in the plots window. To plot the zeros and poles, click on S plane plot. If the model is for a planned system and you want to design a PID controller, select the model and click PID tuner. The PID tuner has a friendly user interface and it allows you to adjust the PID controller gain manually or automatically to get the performance that you want. Let us tune the model. First, we select the PID architecture from the three available options, standard, parallel, serious. We select the parallel. Second, we select the PID type from the available option. To tune the controller automatically, choose the tuning method. CAD has three tuning methods. Venable method, Zegler Nicholas frequency method, and Zegler Nicholas time method. Once you select the method, click auto tune. You can also tune the PID controller manually by changing the gain. Check the step response plot 
to display the time response of the closed loop system. The plot will be updated each time you change the gains. You can also display the body plot and s-plane plot by selecting these checkboxes. This box shows the transfer function of the PID controller and the closed loop system. This box displays the performance and characteristics of the closed loop and the open loop systems such as arise time and overshoot. Once you are satisfied with the PID controller performance, click on Save Design. The software will save the design in the design panel. We have successfully built a mathematical model and designed a PID controller. Thanks for joining this quick introduction to CAD software. Visit valuableinstrument.com slash CAD for more information about CAD software.